that got into place, so everything is kind of a disarray. But you can have access to that because most high the world seeking you shall get, and you provide your energy into the right direction, you know, you have access to these things. So we're here today. I want to welcome everybody. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Tank. You know, I'm here as a facilitator. Anybody need anything, anytime, about anything, always contact me. I'm always available. You know, so right now we're going to do roll call. So, you know, Shining Brave, I know you're out there working. You know, if you want to check in after him, can everybody else check in after that? All right. Uh, shout out to our family. This is Shining Brave, and I would like to start it off by saying that I love everybody, and I love our team, Ray. Who? Who? Mm-hmm. Next up. Shout out to our family. Got Maurice calling in. Shout out to our family. Roger calling in. What's going on, Roger? Not much, bro. Mm-hmm. Shout out to our family. This is Dion calling in. Yeah. What's going on, Dion? Big D. Uh, hey, how y'all doing, brothers? Mm-hmm. Glad to hear you, bro. The same here. And I feel the same way you feel, Shining Brave, no doubt, 100. And thank right you, uh, Brother Ed, checking in. I uh, want to say, man, that I love you, brothers, and uh, I'm glad that I can be a part of this, and I'm looking forward to moving on strong with it. Good to hear your voice, brother. Good. Welcome to Ed. Nice to have you. Welcome home. And you know all the callers. Who's who's next up on the line? Hey, this is o- hey man. What's up, man? Mm-hmm. Shout out. Young this is old school Ice Young Elder, man. Broadcasting yeah. live from the belly of the beast, man. What's going on? All right, all right. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. How you doing, big bro? Shout it out, brother. Shout it out, bro. Who, who, who's next up on the line? Shout it out, yes, sir. This is Soldier and Soldier. Oh, what's going on, brother, man? How are you? I'm doing my best. How are you? I'm well, I'm well. I'm well. Do we doing our best to follow the order? Who's up next on the line? Hey, um, this is uh, Brother Ray Ace Attack. I'm cool. Calling out of uh, Kentucky. My first time on the line, so I'm just listening and seeing what's going on. Uh, I was invited by my brother, the brother uh, Dewan. Oh, thank you. Nice to meet you, brother. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining us. I get your name one more time, please. Ray A, it's attack, I'm cool. Ray A. Ray A. Oh, uh, yeah, just, just Ray A, yeah. Nice to meet you, brother. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Well, that's, that's the way he welcomes you. He loves you all. Um, who's else up on the call? Who, mm-hmm. who? So thank you for everybody checking in. I do appreciate that. As Ray, you know, he sends his love and his appreciation. He's happy that everybody's here with him. And his latest updates with As Ray is that, you know, he's on the move. You know, it's not an ordinary move, but he's he's going to come at our home and embrace us. You know, he's going to be at a doorstep near you real soon. You know, he wants to get out and meet the people, talk to the people. Because a lot of people, you know, some of us are, are sensitive to him where we can hear certain things and, and it attached to us. Others got to see it, got to feel it, got to walk with it, for them to get a full understanding. You know, so he's he's on currently in in the process of of moving. You see, he's in, he's in good spirits. You know, he sends his love always. And we want to discuss, you know, putting things in a certain, you know, well, discuss what we have going on and want people, you know, to just be able to jump on and just kind of like, you know, find their way within. Those so ice organization because we got a lot going on. Like we released a great video earlier today, and it was really good. You know, it's on the YouTube channel, 
and it really kind of just breaking down the whole story of what's going on. And it's going to be more and more of those videos to come. So we just ask for brothers, you know, to, to reach out, and if they have any music ideas, any mixtape ideas, and retain them to, you know, because we're going to package this stuff up and resell it and put it out there, you know, so we can provide it for Atom Ray and provide for Also Ice so we can do more and more some of our own resources. So anyone that's, you know, in the music industry looking to be a part of it, please join us. Same thing with anything else. Um, I'm just trying to make sure I, I go over everything and be able to cover everything. I don't want to, you know, go too fast. Do we have any questions thus far? Uh, this is uh, Sean Brave. Uh, I got a question about the, um, not really a question, actually, as much as it is a suggestion on another, uh, like whoever, whoever's doing the, in, the intro um, for the show, like I, I just have one suggestion for a song, that's all. Uh, it's, uh, y'all know the song, um, it goes, it goes like, Ooh, Lord, it's trouble so hard. Oh, Lord, and trouble so hard. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, I'm, yeah. I can hear you. All right, yo, what up, y'all? This is Tree. I'm, I'm the one who did the uh, intro on the new video. If you guys yeah. got any suggestions, if y'all got any suggestions, y'all can get my email from Tank. Just email it to me, and I'll work it in. That's all. All righty. That'll work. Yep, I'll right. get it yeah. down. Yeah. Do it if that way. Yeah, if you know the name of the song or whatever you want me to try to incorporate, just just send it to me in the link, yo, and I'll I'll download it and do what I got to do from there. That's peace. Oh yeah, yeah, I got you. How y'all right. doing? I, I I know I just interrupted the whole thing. I just got on the line, y'all. Peace, family. How y'all doing? Hey, well, hey, welcome, man. Good to hear you. Yes, sir. Hey, brother, brother, that was a nice piece y'all put together. I like that. Appreciate it. So yeah, welcome. Excellent. Also oh, nice, right? Also oh, nice. Also oh, oh, nice and everything we do is sir. Yes, sir. Yep, yep. Um, yep, so the, all, all these events that you're doing for the order, you know, for Ask Him Ray, is being written in the Book of Life. So you saw how, how magically it came together, you know, because, I mean, Cause last our last conference call was just us putting the idea out there, saying, "Hey, we should do this with the music and do that and that." And so you see what it was transpiring, and that's the Hootie himself. That's him at play. You see, it's like you know that's what happens when you start to create. You know, that God box. You know what gonna come out? <laughs> and we happen to, you know, magic happened to happen to come out with that. You know, got you know it's more and more gonna come. So you know, but the email for you brothers is uh is at tumray at osoice dot o r g. You know, so, you know, that's definitely email. But, I mean, it's, it's definitely, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of want to set a tone. So, you know, because that's where we're at with everything right now. It's like if Bob was suffering, we all suffering, you know. And that's the thing. It's like, you know, he, he had us taking care of us, gave us all this right knowledge, and everything was, was, was you know, we got big-headed and left, you know, the homeland. But, you know, now he's gone. It's like, wow, we out here, you know, lost and searching, and searching too. Then thank the Most High, you know, Atom Ray, <laughs> he coming in putting the pieces together, but he wants us at a certain elevation, at a certain frequency, to be able, we can be able to control ourselves, because we don't want no, 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 you know, out of orderness, you know, even with, you know, with me, if any of you brothers ever see me out of place, hey, Tank do this, Tank do that, Brandon do this, you know, you know, that's why I keep my line open 24 hours, y'all call me anytime, you know, um, so that's where we at with it, you know, um, so, yeah. I appreciate you for that too, brother. Oh, not a problem, not a problem. That's my job here on this blue rock. Apparently, I asked for it in my last life, you know. <laughs> my guy, you know, I see it. <laughs> so I'm just doing my part. That, you know, I'm catch- we all catching up to ourselves, you know, and it's starting to come together and connect the pieces. You know, we trying to say, okay, this is what we gotta do to get to this next level. But I can feel it, the energy, you know. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful to have. Access to Absolute Ray, any kind of level. Because these videos at one point was all that we had, you know. But you see what magic is being done. I feel like each one of us are taking our time, you know, because I know my brother Duani, and I swear, I swear, Duani, I know you're listening, bro. Absolute Ray, he just yes, asked me about them sweatshirts. I mean, he just asked me about them sweatshirts, like, 
sent him the sweatshirts. He said he always lose the phone. He want those sweatshirts printed like ASAP. So whatever we got to do to get that done, man, it's like, because all he been talking about is some sweatshirts. And the church that I sent a lot of y'all, but it's some dope shirts he put together. He, like, want them done, like, yesterday. Uh, he always asked for me to resend them. So if you can, you know, jump on that and get some numbers, you know, all that, to, you know, for us. And any any new, do we have any new, my bad, go ahead. All right, so what can, design can we uh, put on them? It just got to be fresh. You know, you got to get permission, though. Um, like, submit it to the team, you know, show us what you got going on. Because everything's been recorded and on record anyway. Then, you know, if you can, talk to Adam Ray about it. You know, he he has to put get a approval and stamp on everything. Mm-hmm. I had to design one. I had mirror on it, as you know, like it was it was spelled M U R R or M U U R mirror, but I had it like um not in big letters, but like at mm-hmm. the bottom, in small letters. And I was thinking I was doing a new wifey too, had like a uh, nigga. Right near on there, but they have it in the weapon. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's fresh. And yeah, you want to do the scullies too, don't you? Oh, yeah. Ooh, I need a scullies too. Who got the scullies? I'm here, one. <laughs> <laughs> and the scullies going to do some numbers, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what I do on, with the scullies, though. Just uh, had it, the word nigga on that one. You know, and um, had that in the whopper, you know what I'm saying, or hieroglyphics or something, you know. And that's real. A mirror, uh, the, you know, all the mirrors, you know. I know the child. So, uh, no. so I wonder if it, it, it'll be okay to do that. Right. Yeah. Cool. Okay. You know, and also, uh, I do got I did new orders that we had the paperwork. For the copyright, can everybody hear me? Mhm. We got the paperwork for the uh, nigga jeans, for the um, the copyright. You know, cause I shared a story recently of Kevin Gates. You know, he didn't own the LLC to his business name. So a lot of y'all who are putting together businesses, make sure you make sure you got your paperwork together. You know, because people can you know go get your name as your business and you know sell it back to you. You know, it's America. It's a very Evil place to do business. Like, why they call it Shark Tank? Shark Tank. Like, why is Shark? <laughs> why is it not Dolphin Tank? <laughs> or like Happy Tank? Because a shark can eat anything. Exactly. You know. And like, man, y- y- did y'all know going on to the show? They want they get twelve percent before you even go on to the show. They getting twelve percent, and then you go and renegotiate off of that twelve percent they already got. <laughs> it leaves you with like you know twenty percent of your idea and your hard work and your creativity, and they threw you some pennies. And give you something that's going to take off eventually anyway. <laughs> they just speed it up, you know, but and then give their sense. <laughs> get it? So, yeah, so, well, yeah, Roger, if you get those scullies, man, I would love the scullies. Though. I would, you know, scullies, I think we could do some numbers. So, if anybody looking to resell, I also put that out there because, you know, make sure you, you know, you submit to add to Ray what you have. He can look at it, try it on, touch it, you know, make sure it's approved. You know, but I know one thing he does, like, Y'all can match what the he's doing, like that energy. And then with uh, Anthony doing with the nigga jeans, you know, I think they're far ahead with it, you know. So um, we're going to put those on the app and on the website we got coming. And please download the app and share the app. And the app is uh, at Tune Ray Oso Ice. That's the name of the app in the Google Play Store. It should be on the Apple Store real soon. So, yep, yep. What else is on the agenda? Um, what, anybody want to talk about anything else? In yeah, regards I, to like, I just, you know, projects. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. But well, go ahead. No, 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 no. Go ahead. It's just not regarding a project, though, so I'm not going to speak on it. If it's, um, no, I mean, in, in the sense of, the, you know, what was present right now, if it's in regards to that, you know, as in, you Oh, know, yeah, this is de- it's definitely present. It's just, it's I was, not, what's up? you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was something, uh, uh, a brother of mine posted on Instagram today about them passing um, some type of bill or uh, a law against lynching, and I was uh, I commented on that to, towards him and let to let him know that if they pass and if they're doing it, it's for a specific reason because they could have did this 
years ago when they didn't. Uh, they're doing it because it's going to benefit them. That's how I see it. In some way, form, or fashion, it's going to benefit them. Like, say, for instance, all of the people that took took uh, participated in lynching, right, if you're going to pass a bill like this or a law like this, then hold everybody accountable that's still living that partook that partook in lynching, including old retired officers too. If you're not going to do that, then it's not for them. They're doing it to keep us in check. See what I'm yeah, saying? pretty much. Yeah, nah, you, they're you doing absolutely it to keep us in check. So Y'all can hear me? Like as soon as we get mad yeah. enough to start trying to do what they did to us, they got laws in place now to shut us down. You reason that that's one out like absolutely. Nah, you reading that out absolutely correctly. That's the whole thing of that. Whatever laws they putting on the book right now, we got to be very vigilant and not seeing the illusion but the reality because the reality is whatever they're doing now, they know that their time has ran out and that at any moment time, black people might wake up and just go crazy on their ass. But they got to put all this shit in place to protect themselves. That's absolutely. Right. That's right. Absolutely. And you know what? You know they're using their old tactics too. They they're using the uh, they're using and I I, have, I hope I don't offend anybody on this phone because I'm a mutt myself. But they're using the mixed breeds to sign off on all of this. Oh yeah, Pop told us about that, yo. He did told us. He said that they was because their time is ran out that they got to mix in the state. So the main agenda that they have been pushing is this bio agenda. He talked about the neutronoids, the neutral negroids that you're going to be seeing that you don't know whether they're white or black. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Is this, is this brother know. Shoe or brother Zuri? Yeah, this Shoe Jar. This is brother Shoe. Hey, what's going on, brother? Good to hear you, man. I kind of, uh, hey, your voice yeah, is yeah. getting more and more familiar. <laughs> uh, that's for stuff. That's for stuff. Yeah. Yeah, you absolutely right, bro. You absolutely right. I've been peeping that too, yo. I always tell them, you don't want no guns in America no more. Kill some more Jews. You won't have no guns. That's number one. Right, I understand. That's but, you know, okay, we will roll along. Yeah. But with the, answering that question from like a um, you know, also white's perspective, you know, which is you know, it's a, it's a different angle. Is that once you when you join this order, you have protected angels that's looking over you and guiding your order twenty four hours a day. So you stand above those laws because these are man-based laws. So let me ask, ask y'all a question: Why they ain't been wiped those out like uh, ten years ago, fifty years ago? They can't. It's laws, exactly. It's laws set in place where they can't touch us galactically. You see, because we are the, we have some of the most profound minds in the galaxy. <laughs> so we need it. You see right. what I'm saying? Like you, so we got to understand those laws. You know. And, like, that man-made stuff, you know, that's just, like, another distraction, you know. And I get it. It's good to know the law, you know, and this and that, you know. But, like, I, I seen y'all the Green Lantern energy is that because the Green Lantern, you got to realize is that there's a secret order put in place. And y'all know what that green is. And this group, special yeah. group, they checked in with the president. You see what I'm saying? The president got advice from them <laughs> about what to do with the people. You see what I'm saying? Hmm. Like, the president go to them, hey, man, what should we do? What should we do with this? What should we do? Like, they seek advice from the Green Lantern, from that, that, that order, that Melchizedek order. But, you know, in the comic books, they had to clean it up and had to polish it up. But this order exists to this day. And the, we the elite ones, and we're waking up more and more. We already woke. But y'all wait for others to wake up. Just keep waiting. It's like they're going to find huh. a way, you know, they're going to continue to go through their tests. You know, the most high is a He's here to test. That's the way he's testing us and, and, and making us mad. We got to pay. That's the way we do what? Like, you know, they're just getting the, our energy going into a, a divine order, <laughs> into a perfect direction. And everybody getting behind one another. I mean, we'll be like a sing along sweet chair, you know. We just do what we do. So that's what we're trying to establish, you know. So all those, you know, those smoke screens they throw, they're going to always throw that, you know. But, you know, it's those who want to pay attention to it, you know, get it like pay you got to pay, listen to the word, pay attention. So you're paying for that, and you're paying for that by your time being invested into it. So anything you spend and look at, that's where your time and money is going. So elevate or continue to, you know, to be with the lower energy level of people. And that's cool, too, you know. Um, but yeah, we got to dance with them, y'all. You know, we go down there, man, we get trapped. <laughs> They eat off us. They feed off our, off us. Cause we the, we the, we the batteries. 
But yeah, I don't want to go into much into that. We got um so we got anything else anybody else want to discuss? Mm-hmm. Anybody there? Warner. Say it again. Who? Oh. Mm-hmm. I said I'm, yeah, somebody I'm got like a, um, it's like a somebody. Yeah, it's you. I think a tree. That's you in the background, like it's like a, a static or somebody keep talking, so it's kind of. Oh, uh, that might be the TV holding. Oh, yeah, that might be me. Yeah. That's better. Yeah, so we can kind of you know because it's being recorded, but go ahead. No, I was just saying I'm gonna um, start working on something else tonight, and I'm gonna try to get that to you by tomorrow. Yeah, cool, cool. cool. We got I got from Elder say that they really liked it, and they appreciate it. Thank you. You know I got um. I, I think so. Yeah, some of you got also wise members that who who don't be on the phone. That's right. I met all kind of people, y'all. You know. Let's see. Right. And y'all don't know who who's in the order, but hold on one second. So yep. Hold on one second, brothers. Uh-huh. Peace, sis. Mm-hmm. How you doing? Brothers, you there? I'm here. Yeah, somebody can talk for just a moment. I got something to come up. Some I got to take care of right now. Hey, hey Shannon Gray. Yes, sir, big brother. Yes, can you can you can you remember the the subject? Uh, about a week or so ago, we was we was listening to the elder Chu there. We was listening to the brother Chu break down something, but I can't remember the subject before we got disconnected. He was saying something very interesting. We didn't we we weren't, we weren't able to finish that. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, you gotta give me a minute. I might be, I might be able to recall, what, you know, what it was we were talking about. I think, I think Pete ended up getting on the phone. Well, yeah, did I talk briefly, real quick, as to what the conversation is about? Yeah, Phil, <laughs> you on live, sir? <laughs> you on live, sir? Chief on the line. You- Yep, yep. Yeah, that's right. I'm here. The one and only. What's happening? Shout out to the Chief. Look back, Thunderbird. That's what I'm talking about. Shout out to the Chief. Yeah, no doubt. Hey, hey, listen, <laughs> listen, brothers, I, I, I want everybody in the family to know I love y'all. <laughs> y'all are the, y'all are the absolute, you know, our people are fantastically talented, brilliant, uh, resilient, and, the, you know, we're like rubber balls. The harder you Throw us down, the high up we bounce. Cool. And let me tell y'all something. Cool. I saw the um the uh the the also like uh sweatshirts. Whoever did that, I want to take my hat off to you. It's excellent work. Excellent. And I want to tell you right now, what I like you to do is duplicate the effort in leather. You leather jackets. I want to, if you ever went on the land. And, and purchased any of the sweatshirts that my father did, right? And you'll see that they were very special sweatshirts. And in other words, not only was the art, the art and design so explicit, but they they embroidered. Like in other words, they I don't know, it puffed out a little bit. What do they call that that uh technique? Do you know? Does anybody know? But when you feel it, you that like you rub your hand across it, sort of you can feel it and sort of puffing out or whatever. What do they call that? Come on, talk, don't have you guys talk at once, huh? You talking about the velour material? No, 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 no. I'm saying, Bob did sweatshirts, and the sweatshirts showed different Cameroon imagery. All of it very nice, all of it very well put together. However, if you saw Bob's album, 
where he sang the song, It's Only a Dream, and he's dressed in white, and he has a uh-huh. green bow tie on, and a green uh, hubba bum or whatever it is you follow. Follow. And on that album, when it first came out, if you were to touch the face of the album, his picture itself was like puffed out. It wasn't flat, so to say. You follow what I'm saying? Where you could feel yeah. his afro, so to say. You, you understand? What is that technique right. called? I don't know what you're saying. I don't know the name. Embracing, embracing or something like that? Yeah, yeah, em- embroidery, I believe. Embroidery? Embracing is where, is where they take it and they push the imagery out, where it protrudes out away from the paper, so to speak. Perforated. Are you with me? Yes. How, yes what, sir, what, I, what, I, what, is it, what is it called? Embroidery, I believe. I'm not for sure, but I believe that's what it is. That's what I want to come to the show. Perforated, you know. Embroidered, because perforated is where you put holes in it, where you can tear it apart, right? I want someone to search on the word and give me his definition of taste that. Oh, okay. Well, can can I say something, Chief? Yes, you may. Um, The embroidery is what, you know, my company does embroidery, and it's where you can feel the images stitched into the fabric. You can feel the images. It's, 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 it's called that's embroidery, what yeah. That's Where you what stitch them in. Exactly. Now, I want the same type of technique done to the sweatshirt and all of the art and design that I saw. Who who did that work? I want, I want to take my hat off to that person. Who was it? Who put together the also like the sweatshirt? Brother, brother Dewana, is that you, brother? Yeah. Um, what, what's the name you go by now? Um, Sojourner? Sojourner? No, no. Hey, yo, hold up. Sojourner? Surging Is that Sojourner. you? No, Is surging. that the brother who was with me in L.A.? Me and Bodie? <laughs> Is that I'm Sojourner sure. on the line? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm, I'd like to know, is the brother whose name Sojourner, are you the same brother that was with me and Bodie in L.A.? No, sir. Are you referring to uh, uh, the one, and you gave him the title of Surging Soldier. He Surging soldier, right. Now, yeah. but no, there was another brother that was with Bodie and I in Los Angeles. His name was Sojourn. Mm. Sojourn. Like Sojourney. Mm. You follow me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I, for a minute, I thought that might have been the brother. I wouldn't doubt that one day he pops up. Mm-hmm. Very good brother. We were in L.A. the day that Michael Jackson died. Mm. We, were, we were in the streets teaching, and, I was, and it was quite a a very, very magical and powerful experience at that time. That was around the time that we were first establishing the answer. Listen, the, what do I call it? How are you doing? We were first establishing what is called the uh, State of the Children World Movement. See, the, the idealism of State of the Children World Movement came to me while I was in L.A. at Dinah Samir's house. I don't know if you all ever heard of Dinah Samir, but Dinah Samir was a very good friend of Bodhi's and I, right up until he saw the power of the Save the Children World Movement, uh, how should I say, um, uniqueness and design. Okay? When I got to L.A., I got there, and to say the very least, Bodhi and Dinah had taken on a sister whose name was Kat. And we didn't pick up Sojourn to, to after I had arrived. But when I got there, I looked in the refrigerator, and there was echoes. Like you open up and say, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> and nothing but a box of bacon soda <laughs> over in the corner. Wow. The rent was due. Watch now. The rent was due. The brother was about to lose his car because he hadn't paid his... um his uh, monthly, uh, whatever it is. And he was about to be put out of the apartment because he was three months in the red. So I got there while the entire situation was on his very last leg. I said, oh, my God. I immediately gathered everybody together, and we went into I said, I want everybody to sit Indian style in this living room ASAP now. We sat Indian style, 
And I said, I want everybody to repeat after me. And I started to chant. Anu, anu, anu. Anu, anu, anu. And we went from that to El Razaku. El Razaku. The Papaya. El Salamu. The Peace. And we sat there and we chanted for every bit of maybe 35, 40 minutes. And then. I called upon the Most High as Bodhi and Dinah and the sister sat and watched. I said, oh, great, great grandfather of mine, know that indeed it is we who are, and now we need all the assistance we can get to make this thing a reality and to keep it one. I said, without question, we will rise when the sky breaks and praise thy name once again. So, in keeping firm with what it is I said, I said, Amen. This you can place your what? Trust in. And so, what we did, we got up right before sunrise, right at Toronto Fudger. And we started to chant again, and you, and you, and you, and you hold that last note, holding it, and you, and you, and you, and some of the brothers, Dinus wasn't quite in tune with Bodhi, and I wasn't quite in tune with Dinus, but we were able to strike harmony, and then we got on to the street, we said to all, we went out the door. As we went into the street, I said, now, I'm going to show you all how to get the money. And they looked at me. And I said, now, follow me. And I'm going to show you all what to do. I went into a Korean wig store. You know those jars that they put peppermints in that you'll find in a candy store? Mm -hmm. I I got four of those empty, and I think I paid a dollar. It might have been a quarter a piece. Then I took the Save the Children World Movement listen, flyer and taped it on the outside of each jar. Hmm. Then I said, now watch. Look, listen, and learn. And what I did next, all of them was quick to reach, quick to absorb, quick to make a part of them and specialize it in a way by which no one who was spoken to could ignore. The very first thing I did was to walk up to the very first person I saw, and I said, excuse me, sir, how would you like to help some children? He said, what are you talking about? I said, well, I'm a representative of the Save the Children World Movement. What we've managed to do is to establish a situation that's helping children out in a very real way. I mean, we go into any urban area, And we go into all the homeless shelters, and the children that are there, we do everything in our power to make their lives a little easier, so to speak. We take them to the movies. We take them to Chuck E. Cheese. We sit them down, teach them how to read and write. We teach them how not to fight amongst themselves. I mean, you name it, we do it. However, we are not funded by the federal government. And because we are not funded by the federal government, what we do is come to you, the people of the public, not only to make Save the Children World Movement a reality, but to keep it one. So whatever you can spend, if it's a dime, a nickel, or even a penny, by God, it greatly be appreciated. Feel free to look us up on the Internet. You can find us at www.savethechildrenworldmovement.org. And in that, I would just say, now donation for the children. And let me tell you something. In four hours, four hours, all of our jars were full, full to the brim. We had people not donating a quarter, donating $20 $20 bills. Then we took it to Venice Beach. 
and tore them up the inside out. And it was only five of us because we had picked up soldier that day on Hollywood Boulevard. And that was the day that Michael Jackson died. I said right before it was announced that Michael Jackson had died, I said, watch. As we are doing this, I bet you, without question, money is going to fall, fall down from out the sky. And guess what? As I said, that change, at least about three, four dollars and quarters, just fell down out the sky from nowhere. Hmm. And everybody, listen, that was with us, said, oh, my God. I, and we were smiling, and the sun was shining, and the vibe was strong, energetic, and productive. And without question, the Razaku had provided once again. So we took to the streets each day, repeating the performance, because if, if it's not broke, don't fix it. And if it works for you, carry it along. My father told me a long time ago, listen, you do not have to reinvent, reinvent the wheel, son. All you have to do is use the one that has already been tried, tested, and proven to work. He said, I've already done the hard work for you. And Lord knows he's never lied. I thank him. I would like everybody to take the moment and reflect on a tomb raid. The gloriousness of who it is that he is, was, and will continue to be forevermore. That no one, no one can ever forget. And I, t- I repeat right here now, in no way have I ever stepped on the scene trying to take my father's place. No one can do that, not even me. Let me say this to you clearly. My father is the best that ever did it. I can only hope and pray to be anywhere like him is what I would say long time ago, long before I even knew he was my father. Just as I came to meet my father's Native American Indian brother, my Uncle Bibi, I had no idea that this was my real uncle, and I had walked with him for three solid years, calling him Uncle Bibi. And right up until I got out of prison and Baba wrote me and told me, these were his words, I'm exceptionally happy that you have been able to sit with these with the other masters. I'm more than happy and pleased that you sat with my Native American Indian brother. I said, wait a minute. You and him was brothers? <laughs> and then <laughs> I wrote my Uncle Bibi and I said, wait a minute. You mean to tell me Bobby and you were brothers the whole time? And you're my real uncle? I said, why didn't you tell me? He said, you never asked. But it was right in front of you the whole time. Bibi, Bibi, Baba, Bibi, Baba, same thing. So the E and the A is interchangeable. And let me tell you, it knocked me to my knees. My mother used to set a place for my Uncle Bibi at our dining table. And every time I would sit to eat, I would look over at it because let me explain. Uncle Bibi, when I had met him in this life, had served 20 calendars. He had already served 20 years solid. And right after I got out, he was destined to get out a year after me. And the, and the day he was getting out, they rearrested him and gave him 20 more years for a crime he didn't commit. And guess what the crime was? Coincidental? I don't think so. Child molestation. Do you know why child molestation? Because they want the seed of those who are royal. They want the higher ups who are indeed the most controlling and powerful beings throughout the galactical universes to be held back, stopped, and put away where no one can hear the truth that they have to say ever again. 
and they call this honorable, honorable my ass. The honorable judge so-and-so-and-so, I'm telling you to your face, your time is over. And you are not neither the first or the last. You're in trouble for having done things you had no business, breaking galactical law, and soon you are about to be arrested and face these charges in front of the Most High Deity himself, the Honorable Anu himself, on a day called, listen, first there will be Yomo Achen, the last day, and then there will be Yomo Kiyam, where you will hear, will everyone please rise, which is the day of standing, and then there will be Yomo Din, the day of judgment, where names will then start to be called. So-and-so, will you please step to the front? At which time, Andrew will say, didn't I send my messenger to you rehearsing my sign? And many will say, no, I don't have any idea what you're talking about. He said, I don't know what, I never met your messenger. He said, yes, you did. He was a little one with the ponytail. You know the guy. And then they will lie, many of them saying that they never came in contact with me. And at that minute, and who himself will reach and press what would be the equivalent to a small button that would then open the wall up behind him that would then come alive. You all seen the devil's advocate. Same thing. But it's an explicit, explicit color where everything that was said and done and everything that you had experienced will be right there before your eyes. That's why I keep telling you all, no one is getting away with nothing at all. So you will have companions of the left hand and companions of the right. The companions of the left hand will be sitting there scared to death. Why? Because they know they didn't live right. They never gave when it was given to them to do. They never thought of anything or anybody other than themselves. And selfishly, they moved on and on, not knowing that the selfless act is the one that is guaranteed to succeed and carries the very most merit in the heavens. When you give selflessly of yourself, and I cannot thank you all enough for how selflessly you all, as my family of mine, has given to me. Because I want you to know, without your love and support, I'd have been dead a long time ago in this place. Guaranteed. It's been time that you don't, none of you, have the slightest idea that how, in the instant, when I needed it the very most, it was there. And that would be the governing factor that would allow me to stay one step ahead of their bullet. I know that when I come to do the Sermon on the Mound in Carson, Georgia, there will be more people there than I can count. And I know one from amongst them, somebody out there, will be scheming to want me dead. And do you think I'm going to let that stop me? <laughs> Hell no. Because love is stronger, and there's no such thing as dead. Death is a part of life, so I say let the dead bury the dead because they don't understand that death is a part of life, so death is not death. Death is also living. That the people who you think are dead are not dead at all. They're merely vibrating at a higher vibrational frequency than you. And they do everything in their power. Why? Because they love you. To slow their vibrations down. While you, on the other hand, walk around and do absolutely nothing, many of you, to speed your vibration up so that you can enjoy the meeting place of the heavens and the earth. Where those who love you so dearly and love never dies. That's the part of you that lives for absolutely the longest forever 
that ever is, was, and will continue to be. Meaning, forever is a very, very long time, especially eternally said and eternally put in place with a perfection that cannot be erased forever. Don't fool yourselves. You have to know that each of you came into living by way of a formula called sex. Don't fool yourselves. And what makes you all think, listen now, that to get to eternal life, not life, that the same formula would have to be used. Don't you know if you want to do better, you have to do what? More. And my father said, more, 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 spelling it M-O-O-R, M-U-U-R, and M-O-R-E. Are y'all with me? Ooh. And why do you stand three times? Touching on each of the dimensions that this three-dimensional world has to offer. Covering every base. And let me tell you something. Long time ago, I didn't come to every race. I came to my own, but my own received me not. Turned me away, spit on me, talked about me, called me every type of dirty name. 